In today's quick tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to trade live on TradingView's charts through your interactive broker's account. We're going to cover that really, really quick. First things first, you got to have TradingView and you got to have interactive brokers. So if you don't have accounts to either of those places, there'll be some links down below this video to check them out, sign up. On TradingView, you have the option to have a free account. There are many plans that are above that. For example, there's the Pro, the Pro Plus, and then the Premium. We have used the Premium, and now we use the Pro Plus, as that is more than enough. And for most people, the Pro Plus is going to be more than enough for you. So that's what we recommend. The link in the description box if you want to do that before we get started. And the reason why is because TradingView for many people and many people's opinion, especially our opinion here, uh, is the best charting platform out there. And so wouldn't it be great to be able to trade and chart all in one place? Yes, it would. So we're going to use an example of this small cap stock that I've traded in the past, POLA. I'm going to launch the chart and then it's going to bring us back to this page. The right hand side, there's a bunch of widgets. The bottom two will be the actual trading widgets that we're going to be using here in this video. We'll show you how those work in just a second. So now we've got the chart pulled up. We know what we want to trade, but now it's like, okay, how do we do that? How do we connect? Bottom of the screen, it'll say trading panel. Click on open trading panel. Okay. Bottom right, you're going to have to hit this little maximize panel icon on the bottom right of your screen. Now you have options, all the brokers that you can connect to TradingView and then trade live on TradingView with these brokers. We're going to go up to the top left here where we have interactive brokers and click on connect. Now, when it comes down to this, there will be two options, a live or a paper account. Okay, you can connect and enter into each. But the thing is, you can't just have them both flipping back and forth very, very easily. You'll have to log out of one and then log into the other one. Just make sure you're aware of that. We're going to go to live account. It's the same exact thing, but you again need to have a interactive brokers account. You know, if you're going to do this, if you don't have an account, then make sure you get an account, fund it, have money available or open a paper trading account with them. So you can do this and follow along. I'm going to log in. Once I am logged in, you will see the bottom of my screen. It will say interactive brokers live that with a green uh, icon that tells me I am live. My account's connected and I am ready to go. So now I can pick a stock of choice. And for example, I'm just going to use like a penny stock to just trade this with a couple shares. So what I'm going to go do is on the right hand side, the DOM, the depth of market, this is the panel that will pop up. And what's going to happen now is this data will fill in with essentially price ladder. So you can enter limit orders on the left hand side and the right hand side. In this case, I want to buy two units, and this you know, that's what it has preset, which is two shares for POLA. That's shares. But again, this could be futures. This could be you know a bunch of things. You can't do options as of right now. Just want to get that squared away. You cannot. This is not. You cannot trade options on TradingView as of now. Um, so, let's say I wanted to put a limit order at a dollar. Click on the dollar, and boom! Now my limit order pops up on the bottom of the screen. You can kind of see. Let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, now we can see it. Boom, there it is, which actually happens to be the low of uh, this year. So that's where I want to buy maybe. And uh, boom, I can adjust this up and down to the different price points I would like to set it to and go from there. If I hover over my limit order, there's a take profit option. And then there's a stop loss option that I can drag right off my order and have that set. So once the limit order fills, it'll automatically have the take profit set and ready to go. And so I can pretty much put these trades in and walk away, close the platform and go out for the day or the week if I wanted to, right? In this case, it might be a month because this is more maybe a swing trade approach and I want to buy this dip, for example, you know, on this trade. That's how it works. So that's using the depth of market. And again, the same thing on the sell side. If I wanted to cut, if I had a position and I wanted to add limit order sells, I can go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cancel all orders. Now we have an option for the order panel and I'll just pull up this watch list here as well. It's just one of the widgets you can have pulled up. But yeah, option on the order panel. So now we have sell, buy. It's just more of your traditional order panel. Um, we have a bunch of routing options as well. We have time and force here. I can have this, have this set to good till canceled. Again, this would be, allow me to put in orders and put in trades that I don't have to worry about today or tomorrow. It could be more of a swing trade approach. And it's like, if this hits buy, if this hits sell, and simple as that. From here, you can have the take profit option, the stop loss. You can go by ticks, by price, by dollar amount. 
uh, or percentages. So you have all of those options for you to choose from. And when you change one of them, for example, if I change, let's say the price to like three, it's gonna change all of the other options as well. So all you have to do is edit one of the categories, one of the columns, and it will change everything in that column, okay? But if I'm gonna be setting a, you know, a limit buy, so I click buy limit, then I need to make sure this is this, this top part is filled in properly. So two units, so it's be two shares in this case, they've got a little calculator here if you wanted to you know, add, subtract, or go off of some preset numbers, which I believe you can customize in the back end of TradingView settings. Then I can change the price, uh, I have the ask, I can go buy at the ask, plus one, plus six, plus minus six, I can all these different things. Uh, so for example, same thing, I wanna buy, let's say 110 in this case, then boom, go ahead there. I have options for market orders, limit orders, stops, all that stuff. So let's just go ahead and market buy in, which now when I hit market, you don't have a price option, okay? But I can put a take profit and a stop loss in. Let's say I wanna take profit at two bucks and I want my stop loss at like 99 cents. Something like this tells me that I'm going to be essentially risking, let me see if I can drop below. There it is. I'm risking 9% or so to make 26%. Pretty good risk reward if you ask me, of course, if it were to fill. Uh, and then if I click on buy, we are now in. And we got filled on that order at 127 on a market order, which was, I believe, above what the price of trading on. It's a very you know, low volume stock. And so then it automatically put my sell limit and my stop losses in on TradingView automatically. And this is again, routing back to interactive brokers. So all that stuff is happening in the back end. If I were to log into my interactive brokers account on the app, on the website, it'll all show up there. Like I have a position and all that stuff, but I can now track it and monitor it here on TradingView. And again, I put those orders in as good to canceled. So either one of them is going to hit first and that's it. So I'm gonna walk away from this and uh, essentially let this thing kind of play out if this is a, a trade that, you know, again, I only put like two bucks in, but if it was a trade that I want to trade, I could walk away and be done. But that's how it works in a nutshell. If you got any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section uh, down below. We've got other videos on trading view, paper trading, interactive, all those different things. So if you want to check those videos out, that could be an idea. That could be something that might be helpful to you. You may find an answer there uh, on a bunch of our playlists that we have here on the channel. Again, links, resources down below, trading view platform. If you want to check them out, sign up. That'll be linked down below if you don't have an account already. Thanks so much. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. Consider subscribing for more videos like this, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.